Every bride dreams of the perfect wedding day. But for a $5,000 budget boost, would she hand over the planning to her groom? If she's ready and willing to throw the dice, then it's I do. But at what price? Robert, you gotta calm down here. I know your numbers, and this is just not in your budget. Okay. How is she gonna walk? Or she's gonna oh. be exhausted an hour she, in. She'll be fine. She's gonna love it. She'll be all in the moment. She'll be energized by the day. Every time you see something, you're like a kid in a candy store. I mean, this wedding's gonna cost $100,000, $200,000 oh, by your time. No, about. but David, I'm just, I want this to be grandiose. Do not worry. I'm keeping things within reason, but I don't want to, you right, know, sacrifice All right, let's move on to way. the next item. Let's just get this over with. Weddings are a theme that's never ending. Weddings are a bride not keen on spending. Weddings are a budget that's ever ascending. Meet newlyweds Robert and Erica. They accepted an extra $5,000 towards the planning of their wedding if Erica agreed to give her noble groom complete control over the wedding plans. Will Erica regret her brave decision, or will Robert deliver a wedding fit for a queen? My name is Robert, and I'm a 28-year-old commercial producer. I met Erica, a policy analyst, six years ago in university when she missed an Italian class and asked to borrow my notes. Since then, neither of us remember much Italian, but it feels like we've known each other forever. This is the story of how I planned our lavish wedding affair to remember. I'm giving over the planning of the wedding to Rob because I'm really not a details person. I don't like all that planning and budgeting and all that kind of stuff. He loves it. I want to plan this wedding because I want to prove that guys can do it. And I want to make a wedding that's special to me, and I really want to do something for Erica. Our wedding day was romantic, magical, just spectacular. I could not have asked for a better day. You know, unforgettable. That's the best word to describe it, unforgettable, because I planned it. Wow, tell us how you really feel. I feel great. Confidence is key when taking on such an enormous task, so it remains to be seen if Robert's spirited attitude will make him Erica's Prince Charming, or if his enthusiasm will get him banished from her court. I had a lot of things to pull together for this wedding. Lots of great ideas, but my vision needed a ton of research. So I had to enlist the help of a pro to work for me. Work for you or with you? You make David sound like your slave. More like a caretaker. Meet wedding planner David Valley. With his 17 years of experience, he hopes to help groom Robert achieve his vision without blowing his budget. My role as a wedding planner is to encourage the groom's good ideas, discourage the not-so-good ones, help him work within his budget as he tries to make his bride's wedding day dreams come true. Rob, Erica, it's great meeting you. Um, and as you know, because Erica's agreed to give up control of the wedding, we are going to give you a $5,000 budget boost. Can you trust him with this? Well, I do, I do. You know, I'm a little nervous, but you know, overall, I think, he, I think he'll do a good job. Your words are saying one thing, Erica, but your face is saying another. Rob, are you up to the task? Oh, I'm totally up to the task. I have a clear vision. I'm more calm under pressure. Sometimes you can get a little frazzled. I've already aced the proposal, so. This should be a piece of cake. The proposal is easy, bended knee and a decent ring. This is a lot tougher, this whole wedding planning business. Let's get started with some of the details. H have you guys chosen where you're gonna get married? Yeah, we're, we're getting married at a local church, 100-year-old mm -hmm. church, big stained glass windows. It's gonna look beautiful. beautiful. How many guests? Uh, about 110 to maybe 120. Okay. Rob, is there anybody in your circle that you can rely on in terms of the wedding planning? Well, though we've made my house a bit of a wedding-free zone, my roommate Gil would be great at helping me. Are you plan. kidding, Gil? Oh, uh, he, oh. he would make a fun, entertaining Give me a evening. Break. People, it would be memorable. People would love it. No, you're, you're not, gotta you're, have not him. you're not, you're not driving on the Gil planning no, the wedding business. No, I mean, business. they've already said his place is a wedding-free zone. How is that someone who's going to help you plan a wedding? Do you have anybody else that you could ask for help, Rob? Well, my sister did get married last year, so she yeah, can I give a bit of a. Good. Feminine opinion on uh, on things, and you know she's a know-it-all because since she's gone through it. Uh, who's better with the budget? Is it Erica or is it Rob? Well, I would say it's me. It's uh, me. It's I don't like to skimp on the important things. Right. Speaking of money, who's paying for the wedding? We are. We are. You are. You're both. You're, you're paying for it. All right. Well, that's all you get in terms of your say with this wedding. I'm gonna ask you to leave the room, so I can discuss some of Rob's vision with him when you're out of earshot. 
Think of it as a planning-free zone, Erica. My vision for the wedding is just a down-home shindig in a barn with barbecues, square dancing, haystacks, just super simple, no pretense. OK, Rob, so what's your overall vision for the wedding? My vision is I'm really into, like, Shakespearean and old English sort of themes, so I want to kind of tie that in. OK, all right. Now, have you picked a venue that's going to reflect this theme? I haven't chosen a venue, but I'm wondering if I can find a place that has that kind of Renaissance medieval theme, maybe like a chateau or a castle. A chateau or a castle? That doesn't sound expensive at all. There aren't that many castles around here, but we'll see what we can do for you. One of the more unusual things you're going to have to do is pick Erica's dress. Well, you know, I was thinking of, uh, you know, Shakespearean type costumes, something very like, you know, think of like the Costume? queen, very like, you know, elegant. And you very want beaded. her to look like a queen on her wedding day. I have to tell you, Rob, I mean, with costumes, you go from queen to drag queen in about 30 seconds. Like, it's a real fine line here. I'll walk the line. OK, yeah, we don't want you marrying some queen of the desert on your wedding day. Right. All right, entertainment's a great place where we can infuse the wedding with its theme. Have you thought anything about entertainment? Well, I really want the entertainment to reflect the medieval theme. You know, there are so many ways that we can that we can add, like, you know, minstrels or jousting, sword fights. We can Fighting? have wenches, and we can have, you know, knights, like, greeting people at the doors. You know, it's going to be like an awesome medieval renaissance party. Well, I haven't heard the word wedding yet, so we're still safe in the wedding free zone. Now that we've sort of discussed these major things, you got to promise me not to tell Erica, and we're going to bring her back in the room. My lips are sealed. For the wedding, I'm planning Old English theme. It's got to be lavish, extravagant. It's got to be the perfect wedding for the queen of my heart. Now that we've done this, I've only got really one question left, and that is, what's your budget, guys? Will this budget work with the groom's vision, or will it cost him in the end? Now, we're going to add this number to your $5,000 budget boost. And, Rob, I really hope you're going to work with me on this one. No problem, no problem. All right, Erica, you're looking nervous. But because you've been such a good sport, we are going to give you back control one element of your wedding. Oh, nice! Underneath one of these cakes is a major item from your wedding. Choose a cake, and that's your item. Oh, OK. Oh, I can't wait. What's it going to be? Coming up. Look How is she going to walk? She's going to be oh. exhausted an hour she, in. She'll be fine. She's going to love it. She'll be all in the moment. She'll be energized by the day. Your mother brought me to a lingerie shop a few nights before the wedding to buy me a little something nice for the wedding night. Is that really? inappropriate? <laughs> or what? A little bit. <laughs> Remember, I think I wore it for like five seconds. I'm like, here it is. Yeah. Went and changed. We Sweatpants. <laughs> Sweatpants, pizza, Order movie, pizza, and fell asleep. <laughs> Robert and Erica are soon to be married, and to help offset the cost, they've accepted an extra $5,000. But to collect the bonus, Robert must plan the whole wedding himself. His old English theme may not suit his country-loving bride, but at least she holds court over one item. <sighs> it's guest gifts. <sighs> yeah. I have so many good ideas for guest well, gifts. Well, too bad it's mine now. It's not the item I would have chosen, but it seems to make him upset, so I'm happy. Robert may have to abandon some of his plans, but he's still the king of the castle. Will his vision for a medieval wedding sweep Erica off her feet, or will she storm out of the castle? Finding the perfect venue was important to me. It was going to be the foundation for my entire vision, so I wasn't going to settle on anything less than spectacular. You never settle for less actually. My top choice for a wedding venue would be a barn. It'd be simple, rustic, it'd be really cute, and totally my style. You may not get your top choice, Erica, but perhaps Robert will settle on the next best thing. Wow. Wow. Look at this place. This, place this is, is gorgeous. gorgeous. David, you did a great job, man. This, this is the place. This entire space here holds for approximately 450 people. This is it. This is definitely old English. We got the space that we can have, like, performers and sword fighters and jousting. And the entire British Army, from the looks of it. This is way more space than you need. You don't need anywhere near this much space. You just don't get my vision. Come on. This is going to be a grandiose, big, medieval, 
Old English wedding. Are people going to have to do like hand signals to talk across the room? We can get people flags. They're going to need two area codes to reach each other, and if they're all in this room together, Rebecca, how much would the whole space be? Well, you would have to pay for 450 people. We can do uh, that. We and can that do would that. be approximately. Whoa, whoa, where, where you, well, how much is that? how much is it? That would be for all three spaces about sixty-three thousand dollars. That's more than your entire <laughs> wedding budget. Uh, but you know, it would all bring it all together. Maybe we just up the budget a little bit. Up the budget up, a, up a little, little bit. bit. Yes. Say by a king's ransom. No, Rob. It's way too big for your number of guests. You don't need this much space. Rather than spending money on things you don't need for friends that you don't have, why don't we consolidate what you're going to spend on your decor, on your entertainment? That way we're producing something that's meaningful for you and you're not blowing your budget. What I'm recommending for you is taking a third of the room. Take Brule A and uh, this room's for 150 people. You're looking closer to $17,000. I love this venue because of the exposed beams, the chandeliers, the fireplace. Everything speaks to my old English theme. And I think that even with the smaller space, I can make it work. You know what? Let's go. Let's go with the third room, mm -hmm. and, we'll, and then we'll just we'll put extra money into the into the decor budget. Okay. All right. We'll work on a floor plan, and we'll make it work. You might as well just start <laughs> taking his money right now. He wants to spend it. <laughs> to look at wedding dresses, I brought my roommate Gil and my sister Heather, because I'm a man and I don't usually shop for wedding dresses. But as a gentleman, I wanted to choose something that was beautiful for my lady, a little out of the ordinary, so I took a bit of a risk. Risky business with my wedding dress? Awesome. I always pictured myself in a dress that's just simple, elegant, you know, something timeless that I can dance the night away in, like an umpire waisted dress with some straps or something. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hello, hi. Hey, hey, How we, can I help you? I was uh, interested in looking at wedding dresses. I have this whole kind of old English medieval theme in mind, and I was wondering if you had something I could maybe rent. You're in the right place. I have a few different kinds I can show you. There is, this is a actual traditional wedding dress, medieval time. Uh, guys, <laughs> look at this. This is what someone would wear. Yeah. Come on. We, that would be fun. It'll totally fit with that this theme is, you were this talking is, about. This is not your average wedding. And I think the black wedding dress is our first clue. There is other ones here. There are these options here. These are other options. These are, these are some beautiful, I mean, look at the beadings. The beadings. And look at, look the at those. Sleeves. The sleeves will come down. Imagine her in the pictures beside me. Those dresses are just so ornate that you're going to lose Erica in those dresses and just I still, I can't get over the whole renting thing. I want to make a statement, and you know, it, it matters to me that it's, you know, not your average boring dress. Okay. Let's take a look All at this one. Oh, okay. okay. She's is heavy. Look How is she going to walk? She's going to be oh. exhausted an hour she, in. She'll be fine. She's going to love it. She'll be all in the moment. She'll be energized by the day. I mean, you look at, look at the beadwork across the front. From... You know, people are going to be just like blown this away by this. Beautiful. How much would it cost to rent? This dress is $550. $550, you know, very reasonable. Do you have anything that's a little more toned down? I don't think toned down is in Robert's vocabulary. There's a few other ones over here. Oh, so These are way better. Through. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh come on, it's Rob, Rob, light. Rob. You have to pick this one. Rob, this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the beading, and it's strapless, which is just a little bit more modern, but it still has the beading you wanted. And come on, Rob, this is absolutely gorgeous. Boring. Let me guess. Gil's mind is still in the wedding free zone. Honestly. You don't know what you're talking about. Trust me, Rob, Erica would love this. I'm just concerned that this is taking me away from my theme. Like, you know, I, I want something that's gonna, you know, stick to the vision. Rob, I think it's the perfect compromise. Erica will love it, it's classic, but it still has your nice old English theme. I just, I think it'll be perfect. My sister Heather's wedding dress pick doesn't really fit entirely with my theme, but I think Erica is gonna look beautiful in it. I'm kinda torn, I'm not quite sure what to do. It was important to me that the wedding had the right atmosphere. So finding the right type of entertainment was key. But I knew there was one place where I could get inspired. So I brought David along. Well, I'm glad to hear you had a chaperone. Your DJ? Good day to you, my lord. How are you? I'm Sir, well. how are I'm you? Well. Hi, nice to meet you. Yes. David, this is Robert. Robert's getting married, and he's looking for some medieval-themed stuff for his wedding. 
What All do you right. got? Well, I, we have a lot of things we could offer for a wedding. Um, I mean, if, if you're just uh, people coming in greeting, we can have our knights there in costume, lords and ladies, uh, greeting the guest, an archway of swords for the bride and groom to, to enter by. This is all sounding very romantic. What, what else entertainment-wise would you well, have? Uh, dancers, medieval dancers. They can medieval come in dancers. and perform a dance That'd for nice. you. Or they can actually even teach a dance if you wanted as well. How much does that cost? Um, the dancers, they come in, they'll do, uh, they'll come in for about $125 for each. No, no, for the group. They come in, oh, yeah, okay, there's okay. a couple of them that come in to instruct it, so it's not too bad. If you're looking at uh, some action, maybe uh, some of our knights will put on a demonstration, a little sword battle oh. for the king and queen. A sword battle, yeah. a sword battle. Usually for that will be $200 for our knights to show on a battle, and it's, it's, it's battle nice. Battle at the wedding. Oh, it's, it's, it's medieval. It's medieval. Okay, okay. Uh, music, if you're interested in music. Uh, ensembles, they can they can run about $400 for an ensemble of harpists and loudest and singers. Now that sounds nice. Yeah. That sounds nice. I could see that okay. working. Finally, some romance. But it sounds like a lot of people, and a lot of people sound expensive to me. How much is that? Okay, for all those characters to show up and perform, you're probably looking around $1,500. Uh, $1,500? We don't have that much in your budget. Do, does that include, like, props and... Well, unfortunately, if you wanted some extra props, like, say, chalices, mugs, banners, sword and shields on display, that is a little bit extra. That would be another $300 for the whole rent or for the whole wedding, though. You'd get it for the whole night. We're way over budget But I love rock. it. It'll be memorable. People will always, like, think It'll about it. It'll be memorable, the yeah. And you'll be remembering it as you're paying it off after a few years. Robert, you got to calm down here. I mean, a lot of the stuff is fun. It's great. But I know your numbers, and this is just not in your budget. You need to choose your battles here, pardon the pun. <laughs> All right. Uh, and choose the stuff that's really going to be meaningful for you, and it's really going to work. Um, so let's just rest on this a little bit. Uh, we'll grab a card or something from you. Do you people have cards? I, I, I can have a parchment delivered to your house. Okay, <laughs> by some sort of falcon or something. Yes, of course. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'll wait for the falcon and we'll get back to you. Okay, great. Right, DJ, right, thanks thank a lot. Thank you. I want to book these performers as entertainment for my wedding because it's so unique. It's going to be memorable. People are going to see these awesome pictures and they're going to think back and be like, that wedding was fantastic. Coming up, when she gets the bill, for three grand, she's gonna freak out. Just don't show no, her the bill. No, I I'll just want to. Here's the advice that you're giving. <laughs> don't show her the bill. It was a long, long ride to the other side of town, and uh, we got to drink champagne. Yeah, it was good drinking it champagne. It was very nice. It felt important. It was fancy, a hot day. Champagne nice, was good. Nice long ride with lots of champagne. It was a great drive. <laughs> Could have just stayed in the limo. <laughs> Our groom, Robert, has begun making plans for a regal wedding to his bride, Erica. His high-impact, high-spending approach is leading him down a treacherous spending path, and wedding planner David is trying to keep him in line and rule the budget. Robert, you got to calm down here. I mean, a lot of the stuff is fun, it's great, but I know your numbers, and this is just not in your budget. You need to choose your battles here, pardon the pun. Will Robert and Erica's wedding be a royal affair, or will his overzealous spending land them in the poorhouse? Not knowing anything about Rob's planning was getting really tough, so the girls and I went for a day in the country to try and take my mind off the wedding. Of course, it didn't work. This is oh, so this great. is so nice! Wow, it's beautiful out here, isn't it? I'm, I'm glad, glad we did this today. Feel. This is so nice. I know. I know, it's a really good idea. I really needed to get out of the city and just take a rest, you know? I'm just really starting to regret giving up control. I mean, I've got so many great ideas that I can never see come to fruition. I'm really nervous that, like, Rob's gonna overspend on this wedding. Like, I'm really nervous that he's not paying attention to the budget that we set. It's your big day, you know what I mean? If he goes a little bit over budget, so but what? I, you I know, really like, want him he'll to remember go. it forever, you know? I don't really want him to go over budget. Like, I, I really want to, you know, have a cheap, simple wedding. Yeah, but Erica, this is what you signed up for, you know? Like, you agreed to this, and I'm, I'm sure it's going to be fine. Yeah. You got to stop worrying. <sighs> Let's just try and relax like we came here to do. All right. OK. With a groom like Robert, that's much easier said than done. Finding the proper decor was crucial for creating the type of atmosphere I was going for. I had all these great ideas, so I asked David and my sister Heather to pretty much help me raid a prop house. Raid? What do you mean raid? I mean spend responsibly on things we could afford. That's better. Oh, this is it. This is the armory. Oh, this place is incredible. Did you make this stuff yourself? Yeah, pretty much everything. Oh, wow. This is fantastic. You know, I've always pictured two thrones at the head table, king and queen at the front of the room, you know, very, like, old-school, majestic king and queen. 
You know, I want to be like the knight in shining armor. Do you have other thrones that, you know, something maybe a little more elegant? Yeah, actually, I've got a match set. Oh. His and hers, they're more elaborate than this. Really? This one here, yeah. Oh, that'd be perfect. Something a little more ornate would be would be fantastic. Would really just add to the theme of the room. A little more ornate, though. A little, just not too much. <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. Look at this place. Oh, oh God. Like, look at these, look at these, these old mugs here. Look at that. We can be, like, steaming cups of mead. Did they offer mead in the catering package? Or is that an upgrade? Okay. Rob, okay. Uh, all right, okay. I know you're super excited. <laughs> But let's focus. Let's focus on what we need. We need, st we need stuff for decor, Rob. We want some focal points. What about a lantern? Oh, look at oh, that God, lantern. Nice. I was talking about lanterns for you the were just, You were talking about lanterns. That's perfect. I love the I love the craftsmanship. It's oh, it's beautiful. I mean, you know what? We should put that on every table. The centerpieces. And they are? They're 10 bucks a piece. Actually. Well, we have 12 tables. That's 12 times 10. Might need a couple extra for the head table, so let's yeah, maybe yeah, round that up to yeah, around 150. Exactly, exactly. What, well, what about the thrones? How much would the thrones cost? So you wanted the two more decorative ones? Yes, yes, the more the more ornate. Well, they're 100 bucks a piece, 200 bucks. Oh, 200 God. bucks. Okay, so that's, we're now into like, we're almost at budget right now, and you right. want a lot more right. stuff. I'm willing to spend a little bit more to get to get this stuff. The full set of armor, the masks, the shields, the swords. I, I, I love it, it's so authentic. You know, we, we have, all these great pieces. Rob, Rob, you don't have any more money in the budget. I understand you want it all, and it all kind of goes in with your vision, but I don't think you need it all to complete your vision. You need a couple of good selected pieces, and you'll have old English and classy at the same time. I don't remember Robert saying he wanted any class at this wedding. You know, we, okay, we can't kill the core elements, the thrones, the beautiful chalices that we could have all the way across the head table, and the lantern. We could have this beautiful lantern at every table. Okay, you're looking at about 500 bucks for all that? Yeah. That's in your budget. Oh. But you're done. All right, all right. Right? I'm done. You're yeah. done. I know my ideas for decor aren't traditional, but you know, I think they're unique. It's a lot of fun, and Erica's gonna love it. I got to plan one item for the wedding, and that was guest gifts. As soon as I picked it, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. So I asked my friend Carol to come over and help. Really? You knew what to do right off the bat. Do you know how much planning went into my vision? My guess is too much. Erica, these are turning out so good. They're just very simple and practical. I think they're gonna be a good touch. Thanks. Simple and practical? Looks like there may be a battle at this wedding after all. They're so country. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted. I just wanted something kind of like simple, homemade, not too fussy, something to add my touch to the wedding. Are you worried about these going with the theme that Robert's planning for this wedding? I don't care if they're gonna match or not. I like the country theme. I think it's cute. Maybe he'll go with it. You never know. No, I think it's safe to guess he won't. So Rob let you plan these? How much did he budget for them? He actually gave me $400. I spent only $75 on all this stuff. You didn't spend the full $400? No, why do you need to? It's like, this is perfect. You don't need to spend all that, it's crazy. Erica, you have 120 people coming to your wedding. $400 is fine, it's a reasonable budget. I think we both could have used our time better if you'd used the full $400. What's the point of wasting money when I don't have to? Maybe you should have been the keeper of the budget, Erica. This is it, this is what I'm making. It's gonna be my way. And it's cheap. You're cheap. I had some amazing special plans for transportation that would totally complement my theme, but I knew they'd be pricey. So I brought along my buddy Gil and David for a second opinion. Wow, you're actually thinking about the budget this time. I'm impressed. No, not me, but David was. Okay, guys, I got two of the carriages here. One's out in the road right now, but... Oh, these are perfect, these Rob. Can I, can I climb in? Go ahead, I, climb in. Let's get on. <laughs> Dude, I could drive it or something. Oh, it'd be this awesome. This is beautiful. This is really nice, Rob. I think you got you got to do this. Oh. And definitely do more than I got, one. Look how I beautiful do, these whoa, things whoa, are. Whoa, 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 okay. whoa. I got to do all, all right, three. All right, reality here, guys. Okay. Um, you guys want a lot of carriages. Let's find out what they cost first before we commit to a whole bunch of carriages. Uh, how much for one, uh, For Ross? one, it's about nine fifty for the two hours. Okay, so nine fifty for two hours for one. Is there a bulk one, discount, maybe? We, we gotta have more than one, because I don't want to ride one of these. Oh, right, Gil, I forgot. This is your big day. Three of them probably cost you about 3000 That's fine, that's fine, it's, it's worth it. It's we have totally the whole, worth it. 
Yeah, like, I agree. The entire wedding party, all on like carriages coming down the road, it will look fantastic. It's a great idea. The wonderful carriages, the horses are beautiful. Erica um, will right. she'll Very melt. romantic. Yeah. Erica will, I think Erica will love it. Right. I don't know a bride that wouldn't, but when she gets the bill, for three grand, she's gonna freak out. Just don't show no, her the bill. No, I, I'll just, I'm taking care of this okay. wedding. What marriage <laughs> advice are you giving? Don't show her the bill. Every time you see something, you're like a kid in a candy store. I mean, this wedding's gonna cost a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars by your time. No, but David, I'm just, I'm just adding the more carriages. I, I want this to be grandiose. Yeah, well, this is grand. Big, beautiful white quarter horses. The carriage, one is perfect. Rob, if you think you can afford it. I actually, I disagree with David. You I think you should. It. <laughs> can't I think you should do more than one because they are so majestic yeah, yeah, and beautiful. He can't afford one. Erica was right about this guy. He belongs in a wedding-free zone. I mean, right. one is too much at this point. Right. He, oh, I, ha I have to have them. I mean, you gotta have at least so one. So beautiful. The yeah. horses are so gorgeous. This is gonna be. He's gotta have This one. is gonna be such a Give classic moment. I need. I need to have at least one. Yeah, one you can have. One you can barely afford. Three is just wildly stupid. All right. Three is overkill. All right. Okay. Thank you. And this is the guy who could be making money off the day. <sighs> okay. okay. So okay. agreed. It's okay. one. Okay. We'll go with one. Yeah. We'll and go with one. The bridal party will just go in cars. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I will drag you behind. Coming up. Do not worry. I'm keeping things within reason, but I don't want to sacrifice All right. Know, sacrifice Let's move on to wedding. the next item. Let's just get this over with. When I walk down the aisle, you know, I'm a pretty tough, I think I'm a pretty tough chick, and you know, I'm all ready to go. I was sobbing like a baby. Mm -hmm. My face was red and blotchy, and my dad is crying, and my mom was Makeup crying. Makeup running. And... We're driving and running. It just was, it was a happy event, but it didn't look like a happy, happy event. Happy yeah, tears. happy tears. Happy tears. <laughs> Bride Erica has surrendered the planning of her wedding day to groom Robert. He's putting together an over-the-top medieval-themed wedding, and is having a hard time curbing his spending while he executes his vision. Every time you see something, you're like a kid in a candy store. I mean, this wedding's gonna cost a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars by no, your time. No, no, but David, I'm just, I want this to be grandiose. Will Erica get swept away in the romance of old England, or will Robert's overspending be the chink in his armor? Although Rob picked my dress, I had to go get it altered. But no, when I stepped into that location, I was completely taken aback. I was floored. I was, it was crazy. Thankfully, David and my sister Olivia were there. Oh my gosh, am I gonna be like Cleopatra or French maid or Maybe something? Maybe you'll be in this. You won't know Great. where you're gonna be. Maybe you'll be in one of these. Oh my Wouldn't that be gorgeous for your wedding day? No. Think of it as something borrowed, Erica. Uh, you have such a, an attractive look on your face right now. I just now. can't believe I'm wearing something that like a million other people wore. Th that's not true. Oh, this looks really, really new to me. It's probably been only worn by a few people. Oh, great. So only like three or four oh. others have worn. Sweetie, when you try in a wedding dress, a whole bunch of people have worn them before you. Nothing's yeah, really new. Yeah, but you don't buy off new. the rack. You, you get it custom, and I just don't like the fact that it's a rental. I can't believe that someone else has been wearing this before. I'm going to give you one of two options here. Okay. The first option is to take off the blindfold and see the Oh, wedding. my gosh. I really want to see it. OK. Take off the blindfold. Wow, you look beautiful. I think you look gorgeous. It's just, it's really traditional. I mean, it's kind of poofy. It very much goes with Rob's theme. It's not what I would have picked for sure. I'm proud of Rob. Yeah, I think he did an amazing job, especially out of a costume store. Don't be surprised, David. Just be relieved. I just, I can't believe that I won't be able to keep it. It's a beautiful dress. Rob has some big ideas. So come on, play with it. Enjoy it. It's gonna be a fun day. I do like it. It's not what I would have chosen, that's for sure. I wouldn't have picked anything this poofy or ornate, but it's nice. The dress is really pretty. I actually like it a lot, a lot more than I thought I would, too. But the kicker is, it's a rental. I don't get to keep it. It'll be mine for a day, and then I have to give it back. It really sucks. It's, it's heartbreaking. I was starting to lose my mind wondering how Rob was spending our money when David called us in for a budget reality check. And the reality was? I was spending our money wisely. Check. Were we at the same meeting? <laughs> okay, guys, I wanted to sit down with you and discuss the wedding budget because we're getting close to the wedding and we need to make sure that you're both on the same page as far as the money is concerned. Sounds good. Transportation, 
Uh, Rob, you are significantly over on transportation at there 950 bucks. I thought that transportation is important on our wedding. Transportation? Could, like we could just get people to drive us there. People I don't to see. drive us? What? This is our wedding. How you much was it again? 950 bucks. You want it to be special. It's our wedding day. Okay. Now, entertainment which we weren't planning on much for, is pretty much over budget in a big way. What kind of entertainment is it? It's a wedding. We are getting married. That's the entertainment. But Roberts was thinking something more along the lines of a sword fight. It's all part of, like, a, the greater theme of the day, you know? You want people to come and have a great time at the wedding. You want it to be memorable. Trust me, you've given over control to me because you don't want to get bogged down in these details. I know, but it's just, it's really tough. I didn't realize it would be this tough. Rob is way under with his rental dress for you. Yeah, no kidding. Rental dress, perfect. I just don't like hearing that we're over budget on so many things. When you've underspent on like what's important to me, the dress, and yet we're over budget on all these other things. But the dress is beautiful. And all the, it's lovely, all but you're not getting my point. And he doesn't seem to grasp the point of a budget either. Do not worry, I'm keeping things within reason, but I don't want right, to sacrifice our wedding. Let's move on to the next item. Let's just get this over with. Yeah, you're not really into this wedding planning no. stuff, anyways, are you? Not really. No, especially not this numbers stuff. Ugh. Well, that's that's why, why I gave up control to you in the first place. But I'm kind of regretting it, to be honest with you. Really? You seem to be hiding it so well. Well. Let's talk about an area that you do have some control over, which is the guest favors. Oh, right, yeah. That's great. They're Where are we on that? We gave you 400 bucks. How much did you spend? Actually, I only spent 75 dollars. 75 bucks? Yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah. We gave you 400 dollars. What kind of chintzy item are you giving to these people? They're not chintzy. They're nice. I just was frugal about it, and 400 dollars is insane to spend on, you know, gifts for like 100 people. But it's 75 dollars? I'm just. I feel like I've done a ton of work here, and I just don't want, you know, that to be overshadowed be by one of That'll be good. All right, we'll see. Coming up. He just talks about this vision that he wants to bring to life, so that's kind of what I'm expecting. I'm expecting some big, beamed, I don't know what. No, I can't remember my vows, mainly because I was um, choked up. In fact, I couldn't say the vows, and... <laughs> <laughs> and the priest was going, if you don't say these vows, you're not going to get married. If you don't say these vows, you're not going to get married. And I was like, I can't. I, I was choking. It was literally, literally my, my throat must have ex uh, uh, shrunk like three sizes. He gave me his own wine to drink. Yeah, Pete's and chugging I was like, it. I'm chugging the wine. It was so hilarious. And I was like, <laughs> I do. I do. The day has finally arrived for our couple, Erica and Robert, to tie the knot. Robert's been in charge of planning the wedding and has amped up his old English theme with decor, entertainment, and regal transportation. To fund his fancy affair, he skipped on some essentials and has opted to rent Erica's wedding dress instead of buying her an original. When you try in a wedding dress, a whole bunch of people have worn them before you. Nothing's yeah, really new, Yeah, but you don't new, buy off new. the rack. You, you get it custom and... I can't believe that someone else has been wearing this before. Will Erica regret handing over control of the wedding plans for the $5,000, or will Lord Robert be her knight in shining armor after all? The morning of the wedding for me was exciting. I just couldn't wait to see my months of planning come to life. I was just really nervous. There were so many surprises, I just couldn't imagine what was in store. So are you nervous? Are you panicking about anything? Oh my god, I'm so nervous. He just talks about this vision that he wants to bring to life, so that's kind of what I'm expecting. I'm expecting some big, themed, I don't know what. Yes, Erica, that sounds about right. Like, I know that the ceremony, at least, is going to be in our church, so at least I know that. And everyone's coming. All your every, yeah. all family's going to be there. I'm sure it's going to be yeah. awesome. We all love you. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the castle. A bit nervous. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> butterflies a little bit. But yeah, you'll be all right. You can imagine. Well, what if she hates everything? Oh, I don't want to even think about that. I don't want to even think about that. Guys, let's let's just suit up. Let's let's get the day going and you know, roll with it. it. Let's get medieval. Let's get medieval <laughs> on this way. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm really nervous. Oh my god, it looks so beautiful. Thank you. I love it actually. I really love it. So we did get something borrowed, and luckily the dress is not making our bride feel blue. But how will the wedding party feel about it? Eee! Oh, oh wow! Gorgeous. gorgeous! Oh, that is Turn. stunning. Oh, look nice. at that. Oh, 
You're not gonna wanna give this back. I know, I can't believe it's a oh, rental. Oh, the stole works wow. too, doesn't it? Very romantic. Okay, guys, we have something very special outside for you right now, and we need to get to the church on time. I so know, let's go. okay, Grab let's your coats, go. everybody, come on. It's like herding kittens. What could it be? Well, this is your transportation. Oh. It very much fits in Rob's theme, which I can now reveal is very romantic one. Okay, well, judging by the dress, I'm not surprised. There it is. Oh my god! You are going to your wedding in a horse-drawn carriage. That's amazing! Isn't that fantastic? Oh my god! You were scared. I told you not to be afraid. <laughs> Of course she was scared. She left Robert in charge. It's a miracle there's a carriage and she's not just riding in on the horse. Oh my God, I can't believe Rob did this. I can't believe Rob did this. I'll see you guys at the church. Okay, see you there. So, so far, so good, right? Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. See you at the church. Hey, Rob, how's it going? Hey, what's up, David? Well, I'm just with Erica and uh, I'm shocked. She's actually surprisingly calm. Really? Really? Okay, that's yeah. good news. What have you shown her? Well, uh, she loved the dress. She loved the dress, okay, perfect. I think we're gonna have to pry it out of her hands to send it back to the rental company, actually. Great, great. And has she seen the horse and carriage yet? Yeah, we just saw the horse and carriage. Oh my gosh, she almost started to cry. It was like she was just so overwhelmed. Oh. So romantic, she's loving it, she's loving it. Okay, great, great. All right, I'll okay. talk to you later, David, thank you. All right, take care, Matt. Take care, bye. The ceremony was surreal. It was perfect. To be honest, the only thing I wasn't so happy with was that you didn't cry. I told everyone you would cry. Not even a tear. I was too happy to cry. It was beautiful. I just could not believe the woman of my dreams was walking down that aisle to marry me. Aww. Beautiful. Hi, Robert. Take you, Erica. To be my wife. To be my wife. I, Erica. Take you, Robert. Take you, Robert. To be my husband. To be my husband. I declare from now, Robert and Erica a husband and wife for the rest of their lives. <laughs> Coming up, voila. Look at this. Erica, I got a bit of a surprise for you. I have a little bit of a theme going throughout this yeah. wedding. My wedding planning strategy, I don't know that I had one. I think I was horribly, horribly naive about what is involved in a wedding. And as, as a matter of fact, as a, as a single guy, and I now remember with horror that I used to get a wedding invitation and go, okay, well, on the day, I'll decide whether I'm going or not <laughs> and throw it on the table. So I really didn't have a good wedding planning strategy, I'm afraid. Our bride and groom have finally exchanged their vows, and it looks like Robert has managed to plan a romantic and majestic ceremony for his bride, Erica. There it is. Oh, my God! I told you not to be afraid. <laughs> Will Erica continue to feel like Robert's queen, or should they prepare themselves for battle? It felt amazing when Erica didn't kill me after seeing what I planned. <laughs> Guess she really loves me. Guess so. Oh my God, Rob, it's amazing. It's I, so I knew, different. I knew you'd love it. Like, oh, look at this I place. Love it. it's, it's so different from the normal hall. You are good. You're good. Hold your horses, Erica. You haven't seen what's inside yet. Here we are. Here we are. Okay. Oh. Are you nervous? Are you scared? Yes. Oh, no, you Let's have nothing to be worried about. Voila. Look at this. Erica, I got a bit of a surprise for you. <laughs> I have a little bit of a theme going throughout this yeah. wedding. These guys are knights that are guarding our okay, room. Okay, knight. All right. They double as protection for Robert if you don't like the theme, Erica. The room. <laughs> my lord, my lady, welcome to the grand hall. This is it's an old English themed wedding. Oh my god, Robert, it looks uh, amazing do in you here. Like it? Oh, yeah, look at the, the chandeliers, the fireplace. It, it's just, it speaks to classic romance. <laughs> Very excited about all this. Now, he had a few I ideas that were a little on the crazy side, <laughs> but I think what we've gotten here is really fantastic. Oh, oh my goodness. Is this the guest gifts? Yep. I, I don't feel crazy about the gingham, but. It goes. I, it goes. You know what? The, old, the old English meets the old prairie. Right. There right. you go. But you know what? They, they look delicious. At least the guests get to keep the cookies, Robert, which is more than can be said about your centerpieces. Oh, I almost forgot. Take a look at these centerpieces. Oh, yeah, Lantern lovely. centerpieces. Lantern. And I rented them, so 
I got him for a fantastic deal. Wait, rented? Yeah, totally! Yeah. Well, at least now your dress isn't the only rented item at this wedding. It's just a little weird that the guests can't take them home. It's only a small thing. They can take home the little flowers there. Yeah, That's true. Perfect. That's true. There we go. Oh, okay. And check out the head table. Oh, what I got. wow. You know, because... Thrones? Yes, of course, because you're my queen. <laughs> King and queens deserve thrones. I guess I have felt like a princess all day. Oh, so. and, and we got these like palaces <laughs> along there so we can all be toasting. Oh, that is too funny. Now is that funny as in humorous or funny as in I'm going to kill you? Yeah, I'm not so sure about those rented centerpieces, but you know what? I never thought you could pull off something like this. Come here. Well, it looks as though Robert's hits have so far outnumbered his misses. Now it's time for the grand entrance and that awesome medieval renaissance party he kept talking about. Hold on now. That dancing doesn't look very old or very English to me. There we go. Now the night is complete. Who says romance is dead? You just have to travel back in time to the Renaissance to find it. Right, Robert? I feel so great right now. I can't believe that Rob planned this entire wedding himself. I am so proud of him. I don't even, I'm not even thinking about the budget right now. This was amazing. This was the greatest day of my life. I am so glad that all the little details came together. It looks old English. It's totally my vision. It's alive. Oh, it's here. Oh, you're so cute. Mwah. Robert may have given Erica a wedding fit for a queen, but at what cost? Did he win his battle to stay on budget, or did the wedding cost him a king's ransom? The original budget we gave David was $24,000. With the $5,000 budget boost, the total was $29,000. My guest favors were fabulous. I heard nothing but rave reviews, and they only cost $75. Erica looks stunning in her wedding dress, an absolute queen for the day. The rental cost, with alterations, was $500. I was amazed by all the different Old English and medieval elements of decor that Rob was able to pull together. The cost was $575. All the medieval entertainers were phenomenal, a real highlight of the evening, and worth every penny. The total fee was $700. I was not expecting to see that beautiful horse and carriage waiting to take me to the ceremony. I loved it. The cost was $950. David helped me keep the budget on track, even when I didn't want to. We worked really well together. His fee was $3,500. The venue looked beautiful, very old English, with a cozy fireplace. With food and alcohol, the cost came to $16,800. Miscellaneous costs, including photography, rings, and the DJ, came to $11,435. What we actually spent on the wedding was $34,535. Even with the budget boost, we were over budget by $5,535. So you spent the entire budget boost and still managed to be over budget by five grand. Hey, it's not easy bringing the Middle Ages back to life. I think I did pretty good, all things considered. Well, here in the 21st century, we have to brush up on your math skills. <laughs> the strings have been plucked, the mead has been poured, and the countrymen have been entertained. The only question left is, will the rental company notice if one of their dresses just happens to go missing? A budget is very important for a wedding. You know you're gonna go over, but you're always in the back of your head thinking, go over a little bit, but not too much. But you t men give their wives what they want. Would I trust you to plan my wedding? I now, don't. now? Still no. Come on. No, I'm All sorry, right. still no. This will be a rock and roll wedding. That's right. <laughs>